after father's burial we shared the inheritance now my worry is that it's well to my other brothers they are enjoying at the expense of my life they have children and wives they are doing well but i'm suffering i'm rich but i can't sleep in any of my houses there will be voices of people crying all over the house when i try to do so yellow viewers well come once again to another episode of african confessions hd right here on extraordinary africa if i still you in this show we publish lifetime confessions usually we post anonymously for their own safety reasons and in today's video we have three confessions the first confession is from this guy who is saying they still have their great great father's feet oh the third confession she's saying she's pregnant and she's not financially stable to take care of the baby so she's looking for someone to take care of the baby like your own for a while then the rest will of yours without wasting much of your time let's get straight into the full stories yellow uncle can you please post me anonymous i was born in a family of 3 here in kenya that's me and my two elder brothers we are from a rich family our parents owned big businesses across the country we are popular We lived luxurious lives since we were born. Everything was well. Trouble started when our father fell very sick. He was released from the hospital. They were saying he was now in need of warm based care early. At that point, he was critically ill. He called us or oh, his sons. He said, "My sons, you see all these riches. They don't just come. I have to work hard for it." You should also do the same if you want to remain rich. Father told us that you used dark magic to be rich, and if we were not to follow the charm's requirements, it was going to destroy us, or else we were supposed to let it buried with him and we get poor because we wanted to maintain our wealth reputation. We agreed for our father to leave us the money making charm. What happens is that of all my siblings I am the youngest far young to my elder brothers they were able to convince me to agree for the charm to be left in my name they want us to maintain the rich reputation at my expense that time I was still young I don't knew charms have long term negative effects father told us to go to our village dig at the right side of the tree which was at the center of the yard we went there so we found a saga bag full of tree roots we took it to him he told me to put the roots in a bucket full of water i did so he told me to lift the roots back to the saga bag i bathed with the water told my brother to take a tool box which was under his bed he did so shockingly we almost ran when he lifted a human foot from the box told us to take it into a new pot together with the water i used to bath we took the roots back to the village he told us that the charm is our great grandfather's foot our grandfather sacrificed his father for wealth after that sacrifice he became a successful business person in the country so our father inherited it from his father when we were still growing up we did not knew all this but all our relatives seemed to know it they hated us they said our father was a witch as children we hated our relatives too no relative visited us a single day since we were growing up we did not go to family gatherings we were so isolated but living a luxurious life most of our relatives are mentally ill some die mysteriously so after finishing all required procedures dead passed away at the funeral none of our relatives came we buried our father with friends and neighbors the foot was left in my name each and every morning i should put it in hot water 
then bath the war board with the water. Only doing that to let the business stay functional. After father's burial, we shared the inheritance. Now my worry is that it's well to my other brothers. They are enjoying at the expense of my life. They have children and wives. They are doing well, but I am suffering. I am rich, but I can't sleep in any of my houses. There will be voices of people crying all over the house when I try to do so. No one likes me in the neighborhood. People say I am wicked, but I try to be good by all means. To worsen it, now it seems as if my stomach is decaying. I have a very big wound on it. I told my brothers they are rejecting they are rejecting to assist me. Can you please help me? Uncle, I am always in fire. Yellow admin, I have been following this page and likes it a lot. Two days ago, I read one post of a male member confessing on how his ritual uncle helped him to win a lady he loves and how he fears of the results in the future. As usual, I read through comments, both funny ones, comic ones, people asking for his uncle's number, all that, and I tapped mine as well. I intentionally tapped on the name and went to message him. I intentionally narrated to him that my uncle is outside and does not mind me, so can his uncle help me, convince him to remember me? He said, yes, that's an easy task for him. I asked of the sacrifice involved and said nothing blood, so just money to show appreciation. He then gave his uncle's number, so I started talking with him and he demanded Sikista United States dollars. I screamed. I told him if I had that amount, like I want seek my uncle's help. So if he can't help, I pay him later. If successful, he asked for name of my uncle and mine and pick, but I gave different names, no pick. After receiving the names, he said I should still send small amount, but then I told him I don't have an amount. So if he won't do it, then we should just forget it. He then got upset and started saying all kinds of stuff like me. I'm not serious. If I'm not serious, I would have run looking for money so to do it. I ignore cause I knew I wasn't willing to do such. His messages kept coming. WhatsApp communication is not my thing actually. I even uninstalled the app immediately. Back to FB Messenger. This guy is hard on me and threatening me that we will see what happens next. Because he took my pick from FB. But pics on my profile is not me but my sister's pick. And at this point, I felt he was about scamming me. Should I block him? Please, I need advice. Greetings. I really need help. I am 8 months pregnant and I am not financially stable to take care of the baby. So I need someone who is near like in Pretoria, etc., who is willing to take care of the baby like your own for a while then the rest will talk in in box yes viewers that was our confession for today thank you so much for tuning in to our channel what we have learned from the stories also to the people who we have shared i would like to thank you i'd like to thank you for sharing your stories, stories with us we have learned from your stories first confession say god i can sleep peacefully because you care for me and my future so today i commit my concern to you give me peace filled rest so that i can rise joyfully and do all that you have called me to do in jesus name amen dedicate yourself to god repent start fasting and praying go and look for a god-fearing church for now i'll leave the story to comment section they have to comment deep down there. Yes, viewers, that is our stories for today. Thank you so much. 
Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Extraordinary Confessions. I have recently created a group and a page. We will be updating you once we post. We will be updating you. So thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye for now. Solution Uncle signing out.